so beautiful. This is why I'm here. I'm here to fight for this. I'm finally at Animal Aid Unlimited. This was my dream. I've been watching their videos on how they rescue these beautiful animals. It's always been my dream. I've donated here to, to come here. I'm finally here in Udaipur, India. I can't wait to be with the animals. They are doing such, such great work. And I can't wait to go inside and meet all the animals and be with them. And so we're gonna be doing an awesome documentary called The Land of Ahimsa, talking about all these animals, how they're exploited, how we use them, abuse them. And we really need to create more places like this. And they all deserve to be in freedom. So I thank Animal Aid with all my heart. I can't wait to go inside. So Raj, can you please tell us uh, this section of Animal Aid? It's simply to show to the world, to the people, who sees these animals in a different way. Either for ag, meat, wool, or something else from them. So it's a clear message that these are also the animals who wants to live and get love too. So this area is full of love and compassion. She is Barbara. Hi Barbara. Like all these sheep, they are rescued from one of the major accidents on the highway. I'm at Animal Aid Unlimited in Udapur, India, and we are here with the sheep. And take a look at their beautiful wool. Gorgeous. Super, and super friendly and loving and this wool is not ours it's not our skin it's not ours to have yes they're abused the way they clip them you know and the way they abuse them they're just so beautiful so we got to remember it's not our body it's not our hair it's not our fur they would never do what we do to them so let's love and respect all these animals yeah, bully, bully. So dairy industry is one of the cruelest industry in this world. People, they make them regular pregnant, artificially pregnant, which is very much similar to rape. Yes. And if small male calves are born, they are of no use. In India, either they abandon them on roads or send them to slaughterhouses illegally. If female is born, she has to go through the same process. People, they will make her pregnant again and again and again and again. And a cow, if she's of no use, they will kick her out. So even being holy, sacred animal in India, cow's life is not that easy. They live much more miserable life as compared to dogs. They will stay with us. Right now we are bottle feeding them and they are quite small. And we consider cows in India holy and sacred and this is what we're doing? Come on, come on. This is not God's divine plan. Stop exploiting them. Stop exploiting them. Stop your dairy. Look at the love. They must be siblings or just friends. But all animals love, just like we do, just like our dogs, just like our cats. Let us return to the land of Ahimsa, non-violence. We've got to stop dairy. We pray, dear God, dear God, Mata, help me, help me, help me be your voice. May all live with love and compassion in their hearts. May all give up dairy and let these animals be who they want to be. Never separate a baby from its mother. It's the most cruel thing we can do in this world. Thank you. Animals feel pain just as people do. They value their lives just as we value ours. When you see what goes on inside slaughterhouses, I think you'll lose your appetite for animal flesh too. So the local vegan groups in India are pretty small. It's pretty a new movement, even though India is known as the land of Ahimsa. The word Ahimsa, I mean, it started in India. Whatever milk they are making here, who do you think that milk is made for? The cat or us? They take gallons and gallons of milk, liters of milk, and they pour it on the statue of a god. We can let calves have their share now. 
the life of dairy cows is between two and three years. Leather that people use, it comes from the killing of the live animal. My request to you is, please eat beef. Because whether you eat beef or rather drink milk for the cow, it makes zero difference. We go to every last remaining forest and cut it down yeah. to graze animals for livestock. Yeah. We are going to kill everything.